Today we're gonna do the Ipsy Glam Bag Unbagging Unboxing for February. Ipsy sends me their subscription services so that I can unbox, review, and give you guys my feedback on them as well as show you what you can get if you were to subscribe. If you're new here, we're going to reveal the variation that I received, which I had no choice options for because I get it for free, so I don't get to make any choices. And then we're gonna go ahead and feature these items in a makeup look within the same video, so just stay put, okay? Here's the bag, it is super cute. It's kind of like very retro. I really really like her. Here she is close on. Look at the hardware. Is that not cute? And then of course on the other side it says Ipsy hello. And then on the back side, I don't know which one's back and which one's front. I'm gonna assume this is the back. You have a solid color and then you have the slogan for the month. Self love is the best love. Let's see what I got this month. If you haven't seen my glam bag plus Unboxing that's already live go check it out I'm gonna link it up here that went up yesterday and no I don't get card or price points or anything So I don't know how much any of this goes ipsy glam bag is their original subscription It goes for $13 now. You're gonna get up to five uh, Deluxe size samples, so they're more like trial sizes, but not just like little samples like a foil packet that you can only try once You are able to get a handful of uses out of the product in order to determine whether or not you want to invest in the full size Item number uno is the grown out Alchemist Balancing Toner. I'm gonna open it. This is a nice size, great for travel. Doesn't have much of a fragrance. And you're getting more than one fluid ounce. You can definitely get like a handful of uses out of that. That's one. Item number two is the Pear Nova Lunar Lip Balm. Ipsy will give you every once in a while, if not at least with every bag, one full size-ish item. I'm gonna assume this is a full size because look at it, it's a lip balm. I wonder, it looks like it might have a little bit of a tint to it. This one is in the shade Orbit. I'm gonna give it a good swatch so we can see. Okay, so it does have a little bit of a heat, like a tint to it, but not that serious, okay. So you can pull this off just applying it on its own with no makeup. And if you hear little noises in the background and you're new here, I have a toddler. She is going to be two and she runs the house. I used to apologize for like little itty bitty noises like in the background and stuff and people are like, stop apologizing your mom. And I just try to do the best that I can. Oftentimes she's pretty good sometimes she's difficult so if you're new and the little itty bitty noises sometimes bother you I'm so sorry but my kids come first but I love my job so I try to do something healthy in between item number three is the fluff up brow by benefit cosmetics here is a like trial size this is their new wax girl if you're getting this in your bag, if you selected this, if you didn't and don't get it this month, but you see it as an option in the future, snag it. This is the full size. In comparison, it's definitely like bigger, but this, you're gonna get so many uses out of this. I'm gonna show you guys my full size. I've been featuring this recently. Benefit Cosmetics does send me PR, but they don't pay me for anything. They just want me to feature their items. That's one and two. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I love it, I love it. And I've been so excited for this. This is great because I get to travel with this one. Here is what the full size would look like. It looks like your basic wax, but when it comes to waxes, sometimes they're not waxy enough or too waxy, there's no healthy in between. And this one here does the trick. I posted a Instagram reel where I show you guys exactly how I use it because I've shared this in videos recently. I've told you guys how I like to use it, but I haven't actually like shown you guys here on the channel because I've been preoccupied with other things. So I did a full on reels and then I hosted a giveaway with Benefit Cosmetics was just absolutely amazing over on Instagram. The giveaway is closed. I'm sorry. Now long and short of it, you take this, you apply it on the brow, fluff it up, and it kind of helps your brows get some shape, but you can also apply makeup to like fill in your brows if you wanted to, and it should stay put. The reason why I'm so excited about it is because my brows are super stubborn. I've used anything and everything, and I always have to find a way to finagle a product in order to make it work because my brows just stay the way that they are. And since... I'm gonna try the products. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. The way I use it, I go ahead and I make sure that I comb this through my brows completely and I give it a little bit to dry. So I'll give it like two minutes to kind of start to sit, settle onto the brows and set a bit, right? So I comb it through. This is not going to leave a white cast, a shiny cast, which is annoying. I don't like brow products that leave this shiny effect on your brows, it's its its frustrating because it makes it look greasy in my opinion. So this is just gonna be nice and matte and it's not gonna flake up and give you like little chunks of 
flakes. I go ahead, I let it sit for about two minutes and then I'll start filling my brows in. I'll show you guys here how I use it, but I'm so excited for a travel size dressing. Okay, so we're gonna let it sit for a second. And then I got the BFC mascara, but I have the full size too. Here is the full size. And my first impressions was, does it make me look like I have falsies on my lashes? No, but it definitely does a little something to the eyes, emphasizes your lashes, make them a little thicker and a little longer, much darker. And even after trying it more than once, I actually still really like her, which is why I still have it. The mascaras that I hate, I throw out. So this is the second trial size in this bag that I'm super stoked for. And then last but not least, I got a brush. This is by Lovecraft Beauty. This is their number nine brush. She is so big for this area that I, it doesn't say what it's for, but I'm going to assume this is mainly for like highlighting. And if you like to set your under eye, this would work for that too. So it works, I mean, but I would mostly highlight with this. So we're gonna use it for highlighter today. Let's start playing around with the product. I wanna fill in my brows very, very fast. So I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Duo. It is like a wax, but it has color in it. Oh. It has color in it, okay? So I'm gonna use an angled brush, a thick angled brush, because I'm trying to get through this really fast. This is not a brow tutorial per se, I'm just showing you guys exactly how I would use the wax. You guys see how my brows kind of still stayed a little on the spiky side, although I'm not a spiky browed kind of person. I love it on other people, just can't stand it on my own face. I'm gonna use the black, which is not super, super black either. It works for me. And I'm going to just fill in the brow. And what I like about the brow wax, the Benefit brow wax, is that it grips on to whatever product I'm using also. It works with pencils, pomades, powder-ish, other waxes, it just works. And I'm gonna fill in the front. I know that's looking a little like stark. Give me a second, my hug, give me a second. Do you see how my brow stayed exactly where I placed it. And I know I don't have perfect brows, so we need to like fill her in. Before I go back in with the wax, I have to clean out these brows. I know they're looking a little harsh, Miha, but it's it's okay, we, you know, you have to trust the process. So I grab a um, concealer and I clean out my brows. Now I'm gonna go back in with the wax and I'm gonna go right over that. I know, they look harsh. That's because I don't have no makeup on. Trust the process, I said, trust. The process, it's all gonna work out, I promise you. I mean, when have I steered you wrong? And then my brows are basically done. I can go a lot lighter if I'm not gonna apply any makeup and make them look very, very natural, which would be with my pomade. But at the end of the day, like I am applying makeup, so here we go. And I'm going for a little uh, thicker brow situation because they need a trimming. I'm gonna put the rest of my face on, that way it'll make like a lot more sense because I know you guys are looking at me like I'm crazy right now. Before applying the mascara on my lashes so that you guys will see the effect it gives my lashes, I am gonna try the Lip Balm. I wanna hydrate my lips, even if it's for like three, five minutes, but I'm definitely gonna go in with the lippy because I'm going really natural, so a lippy will make it look a little more done up, you know? All right, so this is the lip balm in orbit on my lips. It kind of looks like a little bit of a lip gloss situation. Very slippery. Definitely feels like a lip gloss on the lips with how slippery it is over a balm. The sheen is not just a clear sheen. It just adds a little something. So I'm gonna leave it on my lips because again, I wanna hydrate the lips because y'all know I have some really crazy chapped lips. And I'm gonna go ahead and curl my leches. This is the Nova Beauty Curler. And I'm gonna use the full size because I don't feel like opening the little one. I mean, it makes no sense, you know? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere, so I don't wanna open the little one and then kind of mark it. Oh, I got it on my my lids here. Hold on. Diggy, 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 diggy. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Once I open the mascara, it automatically has an expiration date, and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that's already open. I'm gonna do one of these so you guys can kind of see what's going on since I did do a wing. But this here is the one coat. I hope you guys can see it. It's pretty, it does the job, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like apply some at the bottom. It definitely makes my bottom lashes dramatic if I want them to, so I have to be really careful. See, look at the difference on the bottom from one side to the other. My lashes are pretty long, like naturally. <laughs> so, um, you know, we have to diffuse whatever gets on my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat. All right, you guys, and here we have a second coat of the mascara on the lashes. I decided to bring you guys up closer so that you guys can see uh, my lashes a little better. Hopefully this helps. This is awkward for me because I'm staring up at nothing, but you know, well, technically I'm staring directly at the lights. But this is what the lashes look like when I applied two coats at the top and one mild one at the bottom. I like the effect, personally. By the way, if you've been on the market for a really, really matte, 
affordable liner. My review on the NYX Vivid Matte is up live. I brought you guys up close. I showed you how I go ahead and apply a wing and you get to see it in action, how it just applied and <laughs> my first impressions. It's a full on review. You might wanna go check it out. But that liner, phenomenal and it replaced my hands down favorite of time, like all life that got discontinued years ago. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the balm. I like the balm, it's nice. It added a little something something to the lips and it was very comfortable. And I'm gonna quickly apply my nude lip combo that I've been loving lately. The lip combo is all Nova Beauty. I'll list it down below in the description box if you guys are interested, but I have a liner, a lippy and a lip gloss all in one and it's just beautiful. We still have to play around with the brush which I disinfected with my Cinema Secrets so I can go ahead and use it now. And I feel like we're gonna go slightly peachy because the blush, this blush is the one that I got in the plus. Beautiful, I'm really enjoying her. I think I wanna go with this peachy shade. Look how much she picked up. I'm going to apply. I feel like people would always do this. Girl, it's fine, just do one of these. Going back and forth like this, you're applying most of the product in one place. It'll look more aggressive in that particular area. So I go like this, and then I diffuse up and down this way. That gives you a really pretty gradient. Okay girl, and here you have it. Final thoughts on each product. The Grown Alchemist Toner, great size, you're getting more than one ounce. Thumbs up for me, it's a toner, so a lot of toners don't do anything super duper special, and you don't notice changes in your skin instantly, so I skipped on showing you guys exactly how I would apply this. I did use it off camera, it's good. The Fluff Up Brow in trial size is going to come in handy, I'm so excited for her. You guys need to try this, 100%. So, if you see it, as an option in the shops. Don't sleep on it. The mascara, I already told you guys, I actually like the mascara, so I'm glad to have gotten one in a trial size. The lip balm was really nice, and the brush did its job. It's very soft. All in all, the entire variation was beautiful. Not only is the bag really cute for February, but I got a really good variation. The toner was great, everything else was makeup. So I have zero complaints there, and for $13, it's a beautiful variation. About two years ago, I was totally over like deluxe sizes, and I was just like there taking up so much space in my collection, and do I even get around to using them? But I have found a lot of value in deluxe sizes within the past, I'm gonna say year, and a half-ish. Not only do they come in handy for traveling, but when they feature products that are brand new launches, it gives you an opportunity to try the product before you buy it, which is wonderful because nowadays people wanna hype up a product and you ultimately don't know if it's actually gonna work for you or not. So getting a size like this would be amazing. That way, if you love it, you buy it. And if you don't love it, at least you gave it a try and didn't have to pay the full price for it. That concludes my review of the Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of February. Make sure you check out the giveaway that is currently live. It's only gonna be live for the next few days. You do not wanna sleep at it. It's a beautiful bundle. I will link the video where I'm announcing the giveaway down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell and the like button for me, please. Do not forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what do you think is your favorite out of my variation. Please, make sure you are subscribed. You do not wanna miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I'm gonna be releasing a giveaway for a Galentine. I'm gonna choose one person to be my Galentine and that person is going to get beautiful makeup bundle. So you don't wanna sleep on that, okay? I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.